Two Forks Tower. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then can I... Like, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. But maybe you just really like trees. Maybe it's... <gasps> Gosh, maybe it's a borderline fetish. A tree fetish. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. See you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo! Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? It's right in the middle of your room. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Whoa. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Secure. Shut up.
So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Harmless, but yeah. One of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. Which is kind of what the job attracts. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500-pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. 
finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feed away. Oh shit, ferret or Irish. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Oh look, they decided to have a campfire too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Well, I put out their fire. Man, I would have named that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. They left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Oh, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. There are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy, enjoy dealing with that. Go stereo! with the fireworks. Please just put it down. We won't light anymore. This guy's crazy, Chelsea. <laughs> you probably have a tiny dick. Chelsea, it's my boombox. Can we go? Look, let's just swim to the other side of the lake or something. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. I hope they drown. Yow! I don't think anyone would mourn a couple of future arsonists. Just gonna go ahead and not log that as a threat? Thanks. But seriously, though, thanks for dealing with it.
So, I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Yeah, uh, whatever. Well, I'll, um, you know, I'll try to make it up to you. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home, and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not gonna strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Ah, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it! This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... <laughs> maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. Hello? There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun.
Well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the black path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Ah! Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse, then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one, at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. So this generator is all the power I've got out here? Yep. It doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. Someone broke in. They what? They just—they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. The place is trashed. Okay, I put in a call. Well, what can they do about it? W will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five-O. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I don't know. Who's out here? I mean, I don't know either. I've never had a lookout be a target for violence. Great. I can't believe someone would do this. I mean, I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it, and now I've got to worry about who knows what out there. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Wake up. 